Hi friends, welcome to Toddler Time. I'm Miss Kara. Today we're gonna read a story about ducks and it's called Ducks. And it's written by Deborah Underwood and it's illustrated by T.L. Macbeth. So that means Deborah Underwood wrote the words and T.L. Macbeth wrote that, drew the pictures. Well, here we go. <gasps> ducks. I see one, two, three ducks on the pond and I see one duck over here. And what does this duck see? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, this duck sees a butterfly. Oh, he's following that butterfly. There it goes. And then, oh, he turns around. No ducks. Look in the pond. All the ducks are gone. Well, you better go find those ducks. So he says, ducks. And he hears. Squawk, squawk, squawk. Maybe there are his duck friends. Let's see. Oh, no ducks. Squawk, squawk, squawk. What do you see? I see a trumpet and a trombone and a baritone or a sousaphone. Can you say sousaphone? That's a fun word. All right, what happens next? <gasps> ducks, what does he see? He sees little footprints. He's gonna follow the footprints. Those kind of look like duck feet, right? Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, no ducks. What is this? It's a little boy. He's got on some flippers for swimming, and then he's got a pail and a shovel and swim goggles and a snorkel, and he's standing in a puddle of water. He must have just come from swimming. Ducks? What are all these? Can you guess? Maybe they're feathers. Do ducks have feathers? They do. Oh, no ducks. Look at this. It's two kids having a pillow fight and all the feathers are coming out of their pillows. Look at his face. How do you think he feels? I don't think he's happy. What's next? Ducks? What is this? Do you see that? That's an egg. No ducks. Well, what else comes out of an egg? Oh, you see that tiny little lizard? And the lizard said, mommy? I don't think a duck can be a mommy for a lizard. Ducks? Duck sail. Oh, toy ducks. That's not the same. Do you think our duck will ever find his duck friends? No ducks. He's loud enough the whole city heard him. Oh, he's sad. Look, he's got a little tear falling out of his eye. He's sad. And then he sees a sign that says, Lost Dog. That gives him an idea. You know he has an idea because of these lines. Lost Dog. Lost Dog. Ducks. And then he puts it all over these bowls. Look at that. All these lost duck songs. And then he goes back to the pond and oh, there are his duck friends. Ducks. The end. That's Ducks by Deborah Underwood. That was a fun story. I don't know what I would do if I lost all of my duck friends. So we have a duck friend here. And our duck friend likes to play hide and seek. And today our duck friend is gonna hide under some shapes. So let's look at our shapes. See if you can tell me what they are. You see this one? Do you know what this is? This is a rectangle. It has two sides that are long and two sides that are short. Can you say rectangle? Yeah, good job. Uh, right here comes another one. <gasps> Look at this shape. Do you know what this shape is? This is a triangle. It has one, two, three sides and one, two, three corners. That's a triangle. Very good. All right. So we're going to take our little duck and we're going to hide him behind a rectangle or a triangle. 
here we go. We got a rectangle. Here we go. We got a triangle. All right, say it with me now. Little duck, little duck, where do you hide? Are you under the triangle? Let's look inside. Here we go. Whoop. It's not there. Where do you think that little duck could be? Behind the rectangle? Well, let's see. Little duck, little duck, where do you hide? Are you behind the rectangle? Let's look inside. Oh, we found him. That was pretty easy. Let's try a few more shapes. I have an oval. An oval is a rounded shape that is not the same round all the way around. So it's shorter this way and longer this way. That's an oval. It looks kind of like an egg. And then we have, do you know what shape this is? That's right, that's a heart. Okay, so let's hide little duck. Here we go. I'm gonna hide little duck. Gonna hide little duck. Okay, so let's put up our oval. And then we'll put up our heart and we'll say, little duck, little duck, where do you hide? Where do you think little duck is? Under the oval or under the heart? Oval? Okay. Little duck, little duck, where do you hide? Are you under the oval? Let's look inside. Oh, no little duck there. I wonder where that little duck could be. What? You think he's under the heart? Okay, let's look. Little duck, little duck, where do you hide? Are you under the heart? Let's look inside. Oh, there he is. All right, good job. Let's look at our shapes again. Remember this one? It's a heart. And this one, it's an oval. <clears throat> Very good. And this one? It's a triangle. And do you remember our last shape? Do you remember what that's called? Do you remember our last shape? Do you remember what that's called? A rectangle. Yeah. Rectangle, triangle, oval, heart. Good job. All right, we'll take those down. And we're going to sing a song about ducks. And we're going to make our hands be our ducks for our song. So can you go like this? And our ducks are going to go upside down. So we have to go like this. Can you go like this? And then they're going to eat when they're under the pond. So we're going to go open, shut, open, shut. So they're going to go upside down. And they're going to dabble at the bottom of the pond. And then their little tails are going to go like this. Can you go like this? Pretend you're a little duck tail. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right, and then can you make your hands go open and shut and open and shut? Okay, here we go. It's called All the Little Ducks Go Upside Down. Get your ducks ready. All the little ducks go upside down, upside down, upside down. All the little ducks go upside down as they dabble at the bottom of the pond. Get ready to open and shut. All the little beaks go open and shut. Open and shut, open and shut. All the little beaks go open and shut as they dabble at the bottom of the pond. Now their tails, get their tail ready. All the little tails go wiggle, 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 wiggle. All the little tails go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle as they dabble at the bottom of the pond. Good job. All right, I have a scarf. <clears throat> We're going to do a scarf song. If you don't have a scarf, you can use a cloth napkin or a dish towel or a scarf that you would put around your neck. Uh, any piece of fabric will do. And we are going to do rain on the grass. So We're gonna put the scarf by our feet. Can you put the scarf by your feet? We're gonna say rain on the grass. And then we'll put it up above our heads. 
rain on the trees. And then you gotta hold it like this and put it over your head. Rain on the roof and then we'll drop it, but not on me. And we'll do rain and snow and sun and leaves. So let's start with rain on the grass. So shake it by your feet. Rain on the grass, let's shake it up high. Rain on the trees, put it over your head. Rain on the roof, but not on me. Now we'll do snow. So we're gonna shake it by our feet. Snow on the grass, shake it up high. Snow on the trees, put it over your head. Snow on the roof, but not on me. And we'll do sun. So shake it by your feet. Sun on the grass. Shake it up high. Sun on the trees. Put it over your head. Sun on the roof, but not on me. Last one, we'll do leaves, like the leaves are falling from the trees. So shake it by your feet. Leaves on the grass. Leaves on the trees. Leaves on the roof, but not on me. Yeah, good job. So that's all I have for you for story time today, but stick around and we will do an at-home activity. Hello friends, let's talk about our at-home activity. Today we read the book, Ducks, and in this book our duck friend uh, loses the rest of his little duck friends and goes for a walk through the city to try and find them. And our at-home activity today requires no supplies, we're just gonna go for a walk. And the reason we wanna take our kids for walks is because it helps them to learn about their world and learn to look more carefully at their surroundings. So when grown-ups go for walks, they're usually going to a place. And this is not gonna be like that. This is just a meandering walk. So we're gonna take the time to look at things like cracks in the sidewalk, leaves on the ground, new plants coming up, bugs or small stones. We can look at big things like cars and trucks and buses, or we can look at traffic signs. And this is really an opportunity for your little one to take the time to really observe their world and maybe talk to you about it. So that's all I have today. I hope this was helpful for you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.